I'm out in the wilderness again today and it's lunchtime, but it's been gotten a lot colder since I was out last time on my birthday, if you've watched that video. The temperature dropped down to about minus six right now. Now minus six degrees Celsius isn't all that cold. Uh, it's gonna get a lot colder than that. But uh, with the wind, which is significant, the wind chill is around a minus 15 to minus 18 degrees Celsius. And uh, that's biting. That's really starting to bite in. So uh, I do have a tarp set up behind me, you can probably see, but I am gonna prepare myself some lunch. Other than the wind, it's beautiful out here. Beautiful sunny day. So what did I bring for lunch today? I brought the last I have in the Wild Zora Paleo to Meals to Go, and this one is the Cliffside Coconut Berry. If you're interested in hearing more about this meal, keep watching. Okay, once again, this is the Wild Zora Paleo Meals to Go Cliffside Coconut Berry. It has organic flaxseed and coconut with blueberries and strawberries. And like all the wild Zora Paleo to Go meals, there are no glutens, no grains, no milk, and no added sugars to it. This has 11 grams of protein per serving. It is a single serving uh, package, which has about five, actually it has 520 calories. Might help if I put my glasses on for this. 520 calories. And like all the wild Zora meals, very easy to prepare simple I'll read the instructions open the bag tear at the notch remove the small white oxygen absorber packet reseal the bag invert it shake it to distribute spices which may have settled now that's this is the same instructions for all of their meals pour one cup of preferably hot water directly into the bag and uh, if you've watched any of my other reviews I find one cup is bordering too much unless you really want to let it sit for a long time to really absorb stir reseal and let stand 5 to 15 minutes eat and enjoy. So very simple. All I really need to do now is just get a fire on. Uh, we'll prepare this meal and we'll let it stand and then we'll see what it tastes like. So I thought I'd give you a quick look at the stove I'm using today. So this is the Bushcraft Essentials LF size in titanium and uh, I'm still testing it. I have a review coming for this one and the XL. Uh, I'm using the optional base plate that I, I just recently received uh, to give it more stability on the earth. Uh, we'll talk more about that at a later time. And of course that's the Camel Will 1.2 liter pot sitting on top. It, uh, you know, I, I, spoiler alert, this is my favorite of all the Bushcraft Essentials uh, stoves so far. But uh, yeah, we'll talk more about the stove in the near future. But my water is just about to come to a boil and that's when I'll put the meal together and we'll go on from there. Okay, so my water has come to a boil, boiling away there. And uh, let's open this package up, get a look inside, see what it's all about. Ooh, fingers don't like to work when they're cold. Hard to do this type of thing with gloves on, so I'm pretty much have to use the fingerless gloves for the finer work. But I got, oh my goodness, I got it open. Oh, this is cool. Let's have a look. Strawberries, blueberries, coconut, and all the other ingredients inside there. Not much of a smell right now, of course, but uh, all right, let's put some water in. I got, oh, gotta get the oxygen absorber out first. Right, give it a shake. Now let's get some water in. Okay, I can see some more of the ingredients in there at the same time. Switching off for a leather glove. All right, how much water do I have in here? A little bit more than I need. All right, don't pour all the water in, Mark. Okay, so I got a little less than a cup. I maybe got a full cup in there. I think I had almost two cups of water in my kettle. Need some hot water for doing the dishes afterwards, of course. This isn't going to take very long to rehydrate, I can tell. Some of the air out. You may have seen me do this before. It's something I like to do when it's cold outside. This is a dollar store lunch bag 
but it's a cozy really you know it's just there's how cheap can you get you just go to the dollar store and it's made with reflectix not the high quality stuff for sure but it serves as my lunch bag coming into the woods and it serves right now as a cozy to keep my meal warm all right i'll give that about 10 minutes that's between 5 and 15. we'll come back and we'll give it a taste test all right it's 10 minutes <laughs> bag feels nice on my fingers just to keep the tips of my fingers warm. Uh, I chose not to put it in my bowl today, only because, uh, well, one less thing to wash, I guess. I'm going to eat it right out of the bag. I don't often do that for the video reviews, most because I want you to see what it is that the meal looks like in the bowl. But, uh, you know, these bags are designed for eating right out of. <laughs> I can smell that. I can smell that. All right. Perfect amount of water. Okay, so what I will do though is show you what it looks like on the spoon. So, where are we at? Here we are. Strawberries, blueberries, coconut, all the other, I think, oats and the, and the like. I'll look a little closer just to make sure what's in there, but uh, let's sit down, give it a taste test. Mmm. Okay, I do have to look at that because Okay. Ingredients include orga organic flaxseed meal, almond flour, strawberries, pecans, that's what I just found. Walnuts, shredded coconut, coconut chips, blueberries, apple, mango, sea salt and some vanilla bean. What a great combination of flavors. Oh, yes, this is a breakfast, or a lunch, or a supper, or just a trail snack. I guess you, you know, most people would consider this a breakfast. Tastes pretty good right now. Tastes very good. So this is the last, as I mentioned, this is the last I have of the meals, paleo meals to go from Wild Zora. I reviewed the other one and I do have a playlist. You can see my reviews on them. The overall theme of these meals is they may be a little bit more expensive, but they are simply the healthiest meals you can purchase. Uh, this is not your ramen noodles by any means. This is the other extreme. This is the healthiest food that you can possibly get from in a, in a freeze-dried, ready-to-go, you know, packable, easy-to-prepare meal. Yes, you can do something like this yourself from scratch, but not with all the ease that goes along with preparing it the way this is prepared. Most of the meals I've enjoyed immensely. A few of them I had some not negative comments, but things I'd like to see different about them. But this is a great way to finish off my review of these meals because this is spot on. I could eat this pretty much all day, every day. The strawberries are just amazing. Big pieces of coconut. The texture of the pecans and the walnuts I wasn't expecting, and it is just beautiful. Okay, enough said about the Wild Zora Cliffside Coconut Berry Paleo Meals to Go. Uh, I'll put the information where you can purchase these, or at least look for them, in the description below. If you have any questions or any comments on this or anything else, please put those in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore it, and take that past less travel, because it will make all the difference. Now it's time for coffee.